Good morning and welcome to Budget Model Railways. Uh, just going to do a little, well, it's going to be quite a long video, I guess, today uh, about some of my freelance diesel shunters. Um, now, interestingly, all YouTube videos have an average view of about 30 seconds. Um, hopefully, if any people stay this a little bit longer, um, it's going to be in two halves. So I'm going to talk about some of these that I've finished and then we'll go and have a look at the workbench and I'll show some of my upcoming projects. So this one, excuse the champ, ca shaky camera work. This one's the fairly classic Lima center cab shunter. It's going to stop that one. Um, yeah, so this one is the Lima center cab, which quite a lot of people know. You do see people trying to sell them on eBay as uh, 14s or 17s, which obviously they're not uh, because the wheel arrangement is wrong. But they do make a very handsome loco. I was quite pleased with the colour scheme of that one. Um, based on uh, 14 that's kept in preservation. Um, you saw this in a previous video. So that's my RS2, RS3 repainted as if it was UK. And in the last video you saw that little ultra short one I built. Uh, using a, an old Hornby chassis that I had. Um, and some 3D printed parts. And that's actually a really good runner because it weighs a ton. I've crammed it for the weight. This loco is historically for us extremely important. So this was the second loco we ever acquired. We got a box of bits from a local auction and there was a chassis in there which didn't run. And I tinkered with it and got it running. It's an old Wren chassis. Um, the body wasn't up to much. I didn't know anything about trains and a quick look on Google came up with what I now know was a class 08. So I was a bit okay at scratch building. So that was made out of plastic sheet and bits of molding. Um, it's very noisy, but it does run. And it's what kind of started the bug. More importantly, out of interest to see what that was, I ended up buying a, a bookazine from one of the magazines in Smith's, which listed and explained all the UK class diesels. And that's where my obsession with diesels came from. Because the first bit of info that I got that I could understand was all about diesel locos, not steam trains. And I've been kind of hooked on uh, diesels ever since. So we've got those. Um, and somewhere here, I've got... Ah, I don't know where I've put it. I've got my other large freelance diesel. There we go. So that's, I believe it's two GP9 bodies joined together seamlessly on a Mahano Coco chassis. It's not on the tracks very well. It's a wonderful runner, uh, and I quite like the color scheme on that. So those are, if you like, my existing ones. And then this, I've got onto the windowsill, because it's a bit more light here than on my bench at the moment. This is my uh, rather extensive list of freelance projects that I'm working on at the moment. I am trying to get better and finish one project at a time. Um, but as we've discussed before, I've got quite a short attention span and I find it much better to work on a project while I'm keen on it, put it down, work on something else and then come back to it. And I find I can keep my interest and my motivation going like that. So this one is a lookalike uh, Class 02. Now this again is on a very much shortened Hornby 040 chassis. If you take a hacksaw and a pair of cutters to the chassis, you can cut quite big chunks off each end. And they don't need to be that long. And it's actually quite easy, uh, there you go, that gives you a better idea, to just super glue the couplings back on. Now these, with a, quite a bit of weight added in there again, are actually very good runners. The O4Os always were good runners. Um, by adding extra weight, you find they don't tend to stall on points as much. Um, now this has still got obviously work that needs doing. I've got the wasp strikes to add. I've got uh, transfers to do on the side. But out of interest, I wanted to see how short I could really make one. So that is a Hornby 040, as you can see, greatly cut down. Now, I should point the out that the two locos that the, the chassis these came from cost me the grand total of um, 11 quid. And I've just sold the bodies for seven. So the two chassis cost me two quid each. Um, now, what this is, this was a, a Depardieu shunter that I used for another project. In fact, if you cut a whacking great hole in the bottom, the motor will fit in. You do need boxes on the side to cover the mounting clips. 
but you can see then how short you can get that. That's over an inch or it's, it's about four centimeters shorter than a standard Hornby 040. Again, it'll have quite a bit of weight added and will actually be quite a nice runner. Um, needs a lot of work at the moment, couplings and that sort of thing. So this is a Daypole rail bus that's been shortened, quite easy, just cut a window set out. And in there is one of the Lima motors. This one is out of the short Lima shunter. Hold on a second. So that's out of one of these. Uh, and incidentally, this is due to be repainted in mock BR green. Um, it's, it's a relatively simple conversion. You cut a big square hole in the floor, put a load of extra weight on, and pretty much um, you're ready to go. Um, and I couldn't decide on what colour scheme to do. I, I quite like the idea of doing, doing two-tone green, but I also like the idea of a, a blue scheme that I'll talk about in a minute. So I actually just bought another body because I do have another chassis, so there will be two of those. Then we move up a gear. So this was a American, um, I think it was an AHM big diesel. Um, they're wonderful runners as always. You can see my wheels, all wheel drive, all wheel pickup. Cost me 12 quid, but I'll sell the body for a few pound on eBay. Now it has had to be cut about a bit, narrowed, ends trimmed, ends cut off, uh, double O coupling super glued on the end. But I happen to have a very old Triang um, Class 37 body. It's too long, you need to take about three centimeters off, but it will give me a, a UK outline loco on a US chassis. And these chassis are wonderful, much better than the old Hornby Triang ones because say they're all wheel drive, all wheel pickup. And that's gonna be painted in a blue color scheme, very similar to the Deltic. As a bit of a what if, what if they painted a lot of prototypes? Um, this then, I didn't know I'd got this, found this in a box of bits. I think it came from John Winterburn's estate when I sorted his stuff out when he passed away. And I have this, which was a shortened Hymet that I did to go on one of those chassis. <laughs> so the idea is to make a much longer Coco Hymet. Um, and it's those sort of silly ideas I really like. Um, I know some people think, all oh, this is a bit silly, but I find it great fun um, and that's really what the hobby should be about is doing the what ifs so that's going to be a coco a longer coco high mech to go with the shorter class 37 and then i do have a daypole uh, deltic and the idea is i've got another one of these chassis um, and i'm going to make it a shortened deltic so i'll still have a deltic but it'll be a bit shorter um, they have gone up in price a bit when i was buying these you could easily buy them for 10 quid Takes a bit more work now to get them around 15. Probably need to pay 20. But for a cheap project, they're such good runners, these old Mahano Locos. Um, really are. And, and they're great fun then to have a tinker around with. So there we go. Quite a lot of freelance diesels running already. And quite a lot of freelance diesels to come along. Um, won't be everybody's cup of tea, but uh, it keeps me interested. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Keep watching. And we'll have more out again soon.